Welcome back to MDev Media Channel video tutorial. Create e-commerce site from scratch. Now I will use text to speech voice to guide you in this video. My mic was broken, sorry. And forgive if there is an error in my grammar or English pronunciation. Because English is not my native language. We have already made the basic e-commerce template in the previous video. We have good looking front page. Shop. My account page, with my order. Pay offline. Edit account, and etc. Shopping cart. Contact us. Register page. Search bar. Etc., etc. And all that things is responsive. Now we going to make this slider image show dynamically with PHP. Open a new tab in your browser, then type, localhost. Click the, PHP My Admin, in the top right corner of the menu. Now we are in the PHP My Admin page. Click Database. Then create, ecom underscore store database. Change the, number of columns to 3. And give the table name, slider just like our slider. Push the Go button. Create, slide ID. We give the values as 10. And it will be auto increment. Choose primary assign. And next. Give the name as slide underscore name. For type, we choose varchar. The value is, 255. Next table. Slide underscore image as the name. And text as the type. And values as 100. Now we have. Slide underscore ID. Slide underscore name. Slide underscore image. Don't forget to assign the slide underscore ID as primary. And tick the AI, auto increment. Click the save button. With this three, we can make our slider dynamically. Click insert button. No need to assign anything for the slide ID. Because we have used auto increment in this table. And for this one, we give it as the name of slide. Slide, number, 1. Next is the slide images. We have already put four images as our slide, inside the slides images folder, under the admin area folder. Let's check inside our website main folder. Click twice htdoc shortcut. Open mdevstore folder. Go to admin underscore area. Then slides images. This is our slide number 1. Just copy the image name. Back to PHP My Admin page. Then paste inside the slide underscore image text area box. For this one too, change to two. Do the same thing with slide name. Then change to slide number two. After that, press go button at the very bottom. Two rows has been insert to our slider tables. Now we have two rows in our slider table, with slide underscore ID, and slide underscore name inside it. Let make two more rows, for our slider image. Press insert button. Then assign the name, is. Slide number three. Also for the next row. Slide number four. For the slide underscore image. Just copy the name of the slide image. Paste here, and here, change to 4, press go button at the bottom. Two rows has been add to our slider table. Press browse button. As you can see, now we have all image slider attribute, inside our slider table database. Back to index.php. This is all our slides images.
We going to make a connection to database. To do that thing, I will create db.php, inside includes folder. Right click. Then, new file. Name it, db.php. Basic PHP syntax. Make some room. Dollar sign con equal to my SQLI underscore connect parentheses brackets semicolon to close it inside the brackets make four double quote separated by commas For the first quote, we add localhost. For the second quote, add root. For the third quote, leave it blank. And the last quote, we add the name of our main database. Ecom underscore store. Save the file. Now add this db.php to our index.php. Go to index.php. At the very top of index.php. PHP syntax. We declare to include the db.php inside the includes folder. Double quote. Includes dash then db.php. Save the file. Go back to our slides. As you remember, we have four images slides. Delete all the images. Make some space inside the carousel inner class. PHP syntax. Dollar. Get underscore slides. Equal to. Double quote. Semicolon. Inside the quote. Then write, select all, or asterisk sign from limit nope that, from our slider table, with limit as 0, 1 and next variable dollar Get underscore slider equal to my SQLI underscore query brackets semicolon to close it inside brackets dollar con coma dollar get underscore slides or just copy from the previous variable and for the output variable while parentheses bracket curly bracket enter inside parentheses bracket dollar row underscore slides equal to without space my sqli underscore fetch underscore array parentheses bracket copy this variable name then paste it inside the brackets now we going to call all attributes in the slides images which we have stored in our database dollar Slide 
underscore name slide underscore name is the name of our table to store the name that we give to our images slides equal to dollar row underscore slides square brackets semicolon quotes just copy this then paste inside the quote copy all of this enter then control plus v now we going to call the slide images name just change the name to image copy then overwrite the name paste now we going to echo it echo double quote semicolon to close it make some space inside quote emit extension will not working inside php syntax so we have to write it manually div class single quote remember we already used double quote for the echo so we must use the single quote to declare the class name inside quote item and active close it make some rooms closing div tag now we call the image slide img src single quote As you remember, we put the slides images at the admin underscore area and inside the slides underscore images folder. So admin underscore area slash then the slides underscore images folder slash then copy this variable to call the image's name. Paste after the slash. We have to remove this quote. Cut the quote. Then paste after the variable name. Close it. Save all the file. Let's check in the browser. Refresh our home page. We have already connecting our project to our database and then use it to create connection between slider table in database to our slider images. This slide only show the first slide of our slider. When you click the previous and next button, nothing will happen because we only call one slide image to our slider. To call the other image dynamically, we have to put another variable. Copy all of this. Then paste We have to remove the active class name for the second variable. As you can see, we have give the previous image a limit. 0, 1. But for this variable, we give the limit as 1, 3. For the rest of the slide image remain. I am going to change this to slides and this one too. Let's check in the browser. Refresh it. I made a mistake here. From what is shown, undefined variable, run underscore slider. This should be slides, instead of slider. On line 186. OK, let fix it. 186. This one. And this one too. Save file. Open again the browser. Refresh the browser. The slider back to normal. Try press the previous button. As you can see, the image slide changed to the other image. Same with the next button too. 
and the button at the bottom is working too. We have successfully create the slider dynamically. Thank you so much for watching this video. To appreciate the effort I take to make this video. I would really be appreciate it. If you share it on your social media. And if you find this tutorial is useful. Please give thumbs up by clicking the like button. Don't forget to subscribe this channel.